In this video, I'm going to talk about pages and sub pages and how to take notes in Notion. And also, we're going to talk about different levels of headers in Notion. And also, we're going to talk about toggle headers and what is the difference between headers and toggle headers and what is the benefit of using toggle headers. And also, we are going to talk about adding links in Notion. So please stay tuned. So first of all, I want to create some kinds of folders and subfolders. Why I say kind of folders and subfolders? Because actually we don't have folders and subfolders in Notion. We do have some pages, but we don't have folders and these kinds of things. But we can simulate that kind of thing using pages. So let's do that. So the first thing I want to add is, for example, I want to create an empty page. So as you can see, I've clicked on this add new. And here I want to create an empty page. And I want to name it 00 journal. And maybe you ask, Oh, why this name? This is actually my note taking system, which as we uh, move on as and as we go further in this playlist, I will talk about it. And it is based on Zillow Kassen method. Anyway, so this is 00 dash journal. And here, I want to create another page. And I want to name that page collections. Because if you are familiar with bullet journals, you know that in bullet journals, we have collections, I mean, collections for different things. So that's it. And I want to, you know, I want to make this as a folder kind of folder and this as a kind of subfolder. So I want to make this um, note as a subfolder as a kind of subfolder of this main folder. So in order to do so I drag it and I drop on this page. So now as you can see, it's a kind of subfolder of this journal uh, note, this journal page. And as you can see here, it says journal and collections anyway. So let's create another page. And let's name that page books to read. Uh, that's it. And now I drag this and drop to drop on this collections page. And as you can see, now it is uh, a part of that collections, it is under the collections page. And now in this page, I want to add some books, but because I want this page to be well organized, in order to do so I want to define some headings, some headers, I mean, some titles, in order to do so, first of all, suppose that, uh, for example, later on, I'm going to add more books to this page. But for now, I want to add some books about perfectionism. So I want to have a header one, a title header one. So and let's call that header one that title perfectionism, because I want to add some books related to perfectionism. Anyway, so in order to add a header one, what we can do is we can press the hash button on our keyboard. And then you should press a space. Remember that you should press a space on your keyboard. And after that, you can type whatever you want to type. So let's name it perfectionism. That's it. And also there is another way that you can uh, do the same thing. And that thing is uh, press the slash key on your keyboard. And after that type H1. And as you can see, the auto completion of notion suggests heading one and you can uh, click on it. And as you can see, now you have heading one, and we can call it perfectionism, perfectionism, perfectionism. Yep, that's it. So also, as you can see, here is another heading, which is an extra heading. So let's delete that. So I click on this. And I want to delete uh, this block. Anyway, so as you can see, we have header one, but we want to add some books. So the first book that I want to add is a book called How to Be an Imperfectionist, How to Be an Imperfectionist by Stephen Geis. So this is one of those books. And the other book is Finish by John Acuff. That's it. But I want to make each of these books as header two. And as you know, header one is the main header and header two is a subset of header one. So I want to do that in order to do so I can, for example, in the beginning of this line, I put my cursor in the beginning of this line and I put two hashes. And after that, I press the space key on my keyboard. And now it's header 
two. And now let's do the same thing for this book. So I put my cursor in the beginning of this line and I type two hashes and I press the space key on my keyboard. And as you can see, this is header two. But now let's add the rating, the corresponding rating of each of these books. So first of all, let's do that for this book. So I go to the Amazon page and I copy this line and I press control C. And here I go to Notion, I press enter and I press control shift V. And control shift V Control Shift V means pasting without any formatting. But if you press Control V, as you can see, it does have some formatting, which which is something that we don't want. So I press Control Shift V, which is basically uh, pasting without any formatting. Anyway, let's clean this line. So that's it. So this is the rating of that book by the time of recording. And also let's do the same thing for uh, this book. So let's copy this line. Let's go to Notion. Let's press Control Shift V. And also now let's clean uh, this line. So this is the rating of this book. And now let's add some external links. For example, for each of these books, I want to add the corresponding Amazon link for each of these books. So introduce. So first of all, let's type Amazon here. And let's do the same thing for this book. And then I go to this page. I copy this link and I select this text and I press Control K on my keyboard. And then I paste that URL and I uh, press enter. So that's it. As you can see, we have converted this text into an external link, into a link. Anyway, let's go to the next book. So I copy this URL and then I select this text. I press Control K on my keyboard. I paste that URL and I press enter. And there we go. We have added uh, external links as well. But now let's talk about toggle headers. And maybe, uh, first of all, let's talk about what is the benefit of using toggle headers. So let me, first of all, let me show uh, the problem. And after that, I will talk about how to define toggle headers. So for example, suppose that I want to move, for example, this block. As you can see, each of these things, each of these lines is a block. And for example, I can drag and move this block to another place inside of this page. But as you can see, whenever I'm moving this block, actually these explanations are not moving with this book. But actually I want to do so. I want to, for example, make all of these things you know, make all of these explanations a kind of subset of that header two, so that whenever I move that header two, that book to another place, all of those things move together. So in order to do so, I can select on this, you know, grid, I can click on it. And after that, I want to turn uh, this block into a, a toggle header. So this was header two. I want to convert that into toggle heading two. So I click on this. And now as you can see, all of these things are a subset of that header two. And this header, I mean, this toggle header is collapsible. I mean, you can collapse it and we can expand it. We can expand it. You can collapse it and so on. And when you move this, as you can see, all of these things move together. And now let's do a press control Z in order to undo what I have done. But now let's do the same thing for this book finished by John Acuff. So I click on this grid. And after that, I click on this turn into. And as you can see, it is uh, currently it is heading to, but I want to convert that into toggle heading to. So I click on this. And there you go. And also let's uh, delete this extra block. So I click on it and I click delete. That's it. So as you can see, uh, here is uh, the first book and here is the second book. So far I've talked about how to define header one and header two, but remember that we can have header three as well. And by the way, we have talked about how to define headers. I mean, heading one, header two and header three using these hashes. As you know, typing one hash and after that one is paste, we'll convert that into header one. Two hashes and a space header two, three hashes and a space header three. But now let's talk about how to do so 
for these toggle headers. So for example, for toggle header one, what you can do is press the hash key on your keyboard. And after that, you should press the space key on your keyboard. And so far, you have converted that into header one. But now we want to make it a toggle as well. We want to make this heading one a toggle heading one. So in order to do so, in order to make it a toggle, we should put this greater than sign symbol, this greater than sign symbol. And after that, I press this paste key on my keyboard. And as you can see, we have converted this heading one into a toggle heading one. And so I want to type header one, that's it. And now let's define header to a toggle header two. So two hashes and a space converts that into heading two. But now we want to convert that into a toggle as well. And for doing so, we uh, put a greater than sign. And after that, I press the space key on my keyboard. And as you can see, we have converted that into toggle header two. So this is header two, toggle header two. And now let's do the same thing for header three. So three hashes and a space for converting that into heading three and a greater than sign and a space for converting that into a toggle. So now, as you can see, it is toggle header three. That's it. This was one of the videos of a step-by-step -step tutorial playlist of Notion. You can find a link to that playlist in the description below. And also we have other playlists for other topics that you can find them on the channel page.